so a few days ago, I posted this image up on the Blender Reddit forum, just thinking, oh, what the hell, I'll, uh, I'll see if there's a bit of response to it. I was quite proud of the image, and it was an old model that I had rendered using my Cycles inking shaders. And I decided to, after I rendered it out, uh, throw it into Clip Studio Pro and write a few speech balloons about how it sort of came to be, as it were. Uh, and I did not expect the feedback. I mean, it's been viewed uh, about two and a half thousand times. It's gone upvoted uh, quite a few times too. And the responses have been really good. There's a lot of, this is awesome. I want a tutorial, blah, blah, blah. And while I don't want to show a tutorial that shows the, the cycles versions, I thought it might be nice to do a quick tutorial on um, on this, on how I produced it uh, using the compositor, uh, but utilizing the uh, the Blender internal ones, which are freely available on the Patreon channel. Uh, okay, so let's try this out. Um, I'm going to do a little compositing to show you how I can achieve a certain look for this particular model. Now I'm using the uh, blender internal what's it called uh, shaders that will produce sort of like an ink effect on this so if I was to enable render view here uh, you can see that the shaders have been applied uh, they're rendering pretty fast for um, blender internal and there's this lovely sort of blue sheen around this side and a sort of a more yellow glow uh, below coming up from below I, I like this sort of two-tone uh, situation because uh, this is very indicative of kind of a 1970s, 80s, uh, very airbrushed type of comic. Uh, and so the way I'm achieving this, if I was to go into front view, I'd show you. Uh, we've got this lamp over here, which is set to sun, and it's, it's a fairly low energy, but it's sort of set to a nice blue, tealish tone. And the one that's coming up from below is set to a nice orange, and that's got a very strong... Um, energy setting. So um, I've done a render and here is my combined shaders. This is just straight out with no freestyle, no nothing. Uh, it's basically just a shader pass with a bunch of stuff happening. And what I want to do is take out a few of these uh, passes to combine them to really enhance the look here. And so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add a uh, mix node uh, set to add, and I'm going to mix my diffuse pass and my specular pass, and let's see what we get when we go to composite. And here already we've got uh, the diffuse and specular interacting very nicely. Now I can turn that specular down if I wanted to, uh, sort of like accentuate more of the, the blue tones. Um, so that the, you know that that specularity kind of begins to play uh, into those shadow areas, and that's a that's a really strong start. Now, of course, I've also got my line work, which is my freestyle line work, which I'm just going to use uh, uh, over the top of uh, of everything. I'm not really going to uh, do much of. Um, let's go to multiply alpha. Uh, bring up that factor so we see those lines. So this definitely suggests that it's some sort of an illustration. Now, of course, the uh, the material is a little strong, and so I might end up going back and knocking that back once we've, we're have we sort of happy with the render. Zooming one-on-one, -on -one, uh, that, that's, that's rather nice. Now, I've actually got a, a set of nodes here that I sort of stole from my Cycles compositor. And I'm just going to explain what this set does. We're going to separate uh, some of the image out of, uh, of here. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to be separating. Um, I'm going to run the image through this node here. And what I'm actually separating out is this V value. Right. Uh, the reason I want this is because I want to give the effect, this is sort of like entering an atmosphere and there's a lot of sort of uh, atmospheric interference. And so by adding this separate YUVA node, 
I can further control, let's say we wanted to give that a color. Okay, I'm gonna give that a nice glowy orange color by just using a color balance node. And then I'm gonna run it through a couple of glare and, uh, yeah, glare filters, one set to fog and one set to star. And this gives us this nice glowing effect. But the star is a little bit bright. And so we can sort of knock that back or mix that back into the image a little. But uh, what we'll do is we'll leave it there for, it, for this intensity for the moment and just mix uh, this result into uh, the result of the, the diffuse and the specular. Let's see here we got a node there and node here. Uh, now this should give us a very nice look. There we go. And so what we've got is this uh, nice flat color, nice line work, and then this glow effect on top. Now that the effects should always go over the line work. If you put it under the line work, the line work basically etches over the top and it does not look as impressive. And already that's looking like a really nice comic book render without uh, doing much else uh, to this. And so I'm quite happy with that, but I'm just gonna show you uh, in the shader view, there's a few other, okay, we, we, we know that we've got a specularity. Uh, this is our shadow pass, which we're not really using, and we don't have an emission pass. The color pass is just flat white, because there really isn't any um, color here. But there's this nice reflection pass, which may come in handy. Uh, what we might do is add it into the, the, the workflow around here. And so if we went to composite, and maybe we add it in uh, our reflection pass there. Let's see what we get here. If we just bump that up to one. Is there anything? Okay, so then we get a nice reflection happening here. You can sort of see it reflecting in that glass. And we can sort of play around with this. What happens if we set it to multiply, for instance? No, that, that's, no that's not really good it sort of has to be sort of an ad or a screen or something that sort of overlays the brightest values that screen is looking good because now that's sort of a bit washed out rather than being completely um over the top and if we knock that back a little bit it gives our glass a little bit more realism uh yeah there we there we go there that, that that's quite nice okay and finally what i want to do is i want to introduce this background plate now, uh, what we need to do first is obviously do an alpha over. And so the background is a color gradient that I've produced uh, elsewhere, I think in Critter or something. But basically, it's just a, a nice, simple gradient, uh, a nice little gro glowy burnt sienna going up to a, a very dark red with a lot of banding. And this is sort of very... Um, uh, you know, intense, that kind of LSD trip type of intensity that you saw in the comics there. And then we have to alpha over something, but I prefer to do the alpha over before we get to the effects. And so I'm going to be alpha overing from this node here to get, okay, uh, where's our alpha? We do need an alpha. Have we rendered out an alpha? Yes, we have. Okay, so there's the alpha. We've got to tell it because the alpha sort of been, uh, it doesn't, it's not carried on any of these other channels. It's just got to be carried through. That's looking really nice. Uh, and so then what we want to do is run that image um, under the effects. So then we get the effects on top. Now, there's one last thing I'd like to do, and that is to in, bring in an image. Let's go image here. Uh, let's go over to our uh, paper texture library. Uh, I might bring in my white paper texture. And we're just going to get a multiply node on this. Uh, throw that over the top just for a bit of texturing uh, because this sort of gives it a bit, uh, this is looking quite nice. And this looks as though it's been you know, printed on something and uh, we get the overall effect there. And so that's basically how I produce uh, this kind of a comic look. 
and uh, you know, it's just using the simplest of uh, techniques uh, in the compositor um, uh, with a few uh, tweaks to, to certain channels and color settings that uh, break apart the things that we want to affect the most. Thank you.